Hello guys, it's your, it's your favorite criticizer here. Um, I want you guys to watch this video. There's something that the Bible said in Balak and Balaam. In that verse, it's talk about when some, some people will bring people for them to talk about you or to curse you. At the end of the day, they end up blessing you. See, this man is not obedient supporter. But at the end of the day, this is the man that, that sees tomorrow. I will, then, I will call this man Nostradamus of Africa. He saw this evolution coming. It's a revolution. Whether you like it or not, the supporters, the kind of support P2B is having is organic. Guys, let's watch the video. I am not a fan or a supporter of P2B. I have my own presidential candidate I support. But there is something that gives me worry. Each time I wake up in the morning, and I go into the political firmament of Nigeria and I found out that the biggest threat my candidate has is the man called P2B. P2B as it is now has an more big form. You cannot really describe how, how he is. He's shapeless at times. He comes to shape again. What am I trying to say? P2B is not a politician. P2B has become a movement in Nigeria that if we are not very careful, he is going to be like the proverbial dark horse that we, you know, do what? Upturn and upstage, you know, the, the apple cart in Nigeria here. I have told people, I said, yes. He might be very popular on face on, on social media, but not really popular on the print and electronic media. But Peter B. Secondly has become a consciousness. A lot of people eat, drink, walk, sleep, Peter B. Nigerians, there is something that is coming up in 2023. And I believe, I'm so scared, he's going to defy the political mantra and equation of Nigeria and it's like it's going to be like a revolution because I was discussing with somebody to, so two days ago and I said that if the kind of eruptions we have on, on uh, social media and consciousness we have on social media about p 2 if this is, if Nigerians transcend this kind of voltage and energy you know to voting in 2023 I don't think any of these old candidates will stand p I am saying this because I, I support, I have my candidate I support, but I, I look at p as somebody that is going to be like Barack Obama of the United States of America. You know, when Obama came into the race to contest, you know, elections, you see, so even members of the Democratic Party who are ultra-conservatives, you know, fact, uh, why should a black man even want to you know attempt con contesting to become the president of America, so he had you know some kind of inhibitions and some resistance from his own party. The Republicans were all against him. The whites were all against him. But he kept putting his message, and the narrative now sank in. And at the end of the day, he won the presidency. Even when they now found that it was given, it was it was a roller coaster kind of movement. They now brought in religion and, you know, bet to now signify that this man is not just an African from African origin, that he has a Muslim background that he can never leave, even though he's pretending to be a, a, a Christian as the case may be. So Peter B for me, I cannot wave him off with just a wave of the hand because I have seen things happen. And I am telling our old brigades that they should be very, very ready. What they need to do is to roll their sleeves up because a lot of us who are working for them on the day of election you are going to be surprised that we are going to vote for a man like P2B because of the fact that we have seen that P2B's narrative has become a breath of fresh air. P2B's narrative has become what the new Nigeria you know, wants to be.